hello everyone in this video we will discuss how to solve a linear circuit uh, which is sourced by a dc source having only independent sources here is the learning outcome by the end of this session students will be able to identify um, the various aspects of the circuit to get the thevenin's equivalent circuit when only independent sources are available okay so uh, let us have a look at the problem and uh, analyze how to solve this uh, to finally identify the thevenin's equivalent uh, and also to find the current flowing through the resistor r equals to so here is the question so where uh, let us say that this voltage source is of a value 50 volts whereas these uh, values are of 5 ohms 20 and 4 okay and this resistance okay is nothing but the load resistance across which we are uh, supposed to calculate the value that is 2 ohms so here is the problem Uh, we are supposed to identify the thevenin's equivalent circuit across this particular point i mean this particular uh, network uh, so for that let us have a look at how to solve this so basically uh, i would say like we have three steps and the first step is to identify the thevenin's voltage then we calculate the uh thevenin's resistance and then finally uh in step 3 we tend to draw that thevenin's equivalent circuit and identify the rest of the uh what we call the requirements like maybe the current across the 2 ohm resistor or maybe the voltage across whatever uh, is desired in the question so let's have a look at the step 1 where so i'm going to roughly uh prepare a template uh, that would ease us to identify how we are going to proceed uh for solution of this problem so let me lay down the template so step number 1 is going to identify vth similarly uh, we are going to identify the value of rth will stands for the thevenin's resistance and then finally we have step number 3 which involves uh drawing the equivalent circuit that is the thevenin's equivalent circuit okay and finally we are going to find uh, the value of rl uh and the current that is actually flowing through that so let me write the kvl equation for identification of vth following step number 1 where we will be writing the kvl for this loop so what we have here is we are going to first of all disconnect the load so this is very important step uh the first step that you are going to follow is disconnect this part okay so step 1 involves disconnecting the load and then redrawing the diagram so let me redraw the diagram by disconnect the load so this is a important step uh that will ease you to identify what exactly we are performing and what part of the circuit is important and what part of the circuit can be neglected for uh the moment we are trying to analyze the circuit so here we have 50 volts this is going to be 20 and this is going to be 4 ohms okay remember that we have eliminated this and whatever voltage that will be developed across this particular part is going to be referred as thevenin's voltage and that's what we'll be identifying in a short while now for this we have to uh apply kvl so i'm going to assume a current i flowing through this and hence apply kvl which will give me 50 minus 25 times i 
is equal to 0 okay and thus on simplification this will give me fifty by twenty five that is two amps okay so but this is not what we are interested in we are interested in the voltage developed across this one now uh, the voltage uh, developed across the output port okay uh, is going to be merely the voltage developed across 20 volts plus the voltage developed across the 4 ohms resistance but as you can see in the given circuit that the voltage developed across 4 ohms is going to be 0 volts the reason is we don't have any sort of current flowing through this one and hence though VTH is equal to voltage drop across 4 ohms plus 20 ohms uh, now this uh, uh, just remains like VTH is equal to the voltage developed across 20 ohm resistor only since uh, this is 0 therefore we can follow that VTH is equal to nothing but the resistance R into the current flowing that uh, what uh, that is what we have just identified that is 2 amperes so I won't mention the unit here hence the value of VTS that we are able to obtain is 40 volts so step number one is successfully accomplished similarly we have step number two where we are going to eliminate the source okay and redraw the circuit for the sake of step two again So here I am having the voltage source. This voltage source is short circuited this time. And of course, RL is still in a removed state. So whatever you look into the circuit across these points A and B, that is known as Thevenin's resistance. So now I have uh, 5 ohms, 20 ohms and 4 ohms back into the picture whereas I have simply replaced this particular 50 volt source with a short circuit. So what generally we are trying to do here is uh, we consider that all the sources present in a given linear circuit are ideal and when we say these voltage sources which are independent are ideal, independent ideal voltage source generally have uh, an ideal resistance of RS uh, which is equal to 0. So and this is as good as I am replacing this uh, voltage source with its own internal resistance which is nothing but 0 volt, uh, sorry 0 ohms. So here is the circuit which will uh, help us to identify the Thevenin's resistance. So simply as you can see uh, we have RTH value as nothing but 5 ohms which is in parallel with 20. Uh, this whole combination is in series with 4 ohms. Therefore RTH is going to be just some sort of simplification and finally what we get here is 8 ohms so the Thevenin's resistance that we have calculated is 8 ohms hence we have cal uh, we have finished calculating the step number 2 now we are getting into step number 3 where we are supposed to draw that Thevenin's equivalent circuit so let me draw this this is our Thevenin's equivalent circuit which contains only one single voltage source VTH and one single resistance RTH across the same given points A and B and now we are going to connect the load back okay uh, whatever we have disconnected in the step number one the same thing should be connected back again and of course the value of RTH is going to be 8 ohms and the value of VTH is going to be uh, 40 volts that's what we have calculated in step number one now let us calculate uh, the real desired part that is we are supposed to calculate the current flowing through the resistor RL so here is the solution for that the current flowing through RL let it be I once again so the current I flowing in the given loop of Thevenin's equivalent is going to be simply VTH upon 
the value RTH plus RL. So this brings us uh, to the value of 40 upon 8 plus 2 that is 10. So simply this is nothing but 4 amps. Okay. So the final answer what we are having is 4 amperes. This is how we calculate uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Here are the references. Thank you.